Hey Meadowbrook, it's Cody. And Severe. And, and we'll, we'll be your news, news anchors, anchors today. Next up is our president, Donald Trump. No, it's Delaney. Oh yeah, sorry. Our next up is our ASB president, Delaney. A.S.B. President. Hey Meadowbrook, it's Delaney with the weekly announcements. I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving break, spent time with your family, and ate way too much food. I'm grateful for my family, my friends, and this amazing position to work with all of you guys. Let's go see what other people are thankful for. Kate and Tara, what are you grateful for? Our friendship! We're grateful for each other! I'm grateful for my health and this umbrella. I'm grateful for this Izzy because it gives me proper hydration. I'm grateful for being a Visco boy. I am. I'm grateful for the breath of life and the time that I get to spend here at Meadowbrook Middle School. Hope you have a great day, Meadowbrook. Bye! Next up is the Word Up. W-O-R-D. Stop it. Get some help. Hey, Meadowbrook. It's Kayla. And Grace with, with the Word Up. The first word is estimate. The definition of estimate is the judgment of a value, size, or amount of something. Kayla estimated the number of fingers on her hands. The second word is evident. The definition of evident is easily noticed or understood. It was evident to Grace that it was raining. This has been Kayla and Grace with, with the, the word up. Wow, those are some great words, right, Severe? Yeah. Let's go see who won the character card drawing this week. Hey, Meadowbrook, it's Logan. And Josh. With the character cards. And the first winner is... The first winner is Sanchez Miguel. The second winner is Carly Roberts. The third and fourth winners are The third winner is Logan Dunbar. The fourth winner is Devin Erdem. The people who did not win will be put in the trimester drawing for pizza with friends. Thanks for showing good character, Matterbrook. Bye! Remember to keep showing great character, Meadowbrook. Now let's go see what the MB mail has to say. That, that, that's not a joke, Severe. Hey, Meadowbrook. It's Armando with the MB mail and Voice of Kindness. And the first letter is... Dear MB News, why are people complaining about the bees? They were here first. We shouldn't complain if this was their home before us. People just need to suck it up and accept the fact that bees are important. From a mad 7th grader. And the second letter is... Dear Voice of Kindness, I had a great Thanksgiving break. I am thankful for my family, friends, and pets. I am also thankful for all my teachers who teach me well. From a thankful 6th grader. Dear Voice of Kindness, I would just like to say that Mr. Bass is an amazing teacher. I like his teaching style in both language arts and social studies. I also like the way he makes class fun with his jokes. In conclusion, Mr. Bass is an amazing teacher from an 8th grader. The fourth letter is Dear MB News, I am so happy that I have friends like Cons, Victor, Lily, Oriana, Peter, Sebastian, Isidro, and Barbara from a happy student that is happy to have friends with, an, with a cute drawing. We also received a petition regarding whether or not students can use mobile devices at school during lunch. The petition has been turned into the office for review. A response will follow soon. Please submit your letters to the mailbox outside room 501. Bye, Meadowbrook. Now, it is time for ASB! The best part of our week was getting donations from Plumber Auto. <laughs> hey buddy, what? what's wrong? I want to be outside! Well, lucky for you, we have a recess room. By the way, we could use donations of colored pencils, markers, coloring books, puzzle books, and toys, board games, and Legos. But this is the last week to donate. 
Hey, Cody, are you wise? Yeah. No! Let's go talk to people who are actually wise. Good morning, Meadowbrook. This is Elaine with a few words of wisdom. Our hearts almost always know the difference between right and wrong. We just need to listen. Sometimes it's hard to listen, especially when our heart is saying, this is wrong, while our mind is telling us everyone else is doing it. Do you know the root meaning of the word courage? It means the heart. Next time you are faced with negative peer pressure, have the courage to listen to your heart. Then remember these words from Andrew Jackson, 7th President of the United States. One person with courage makes a majority. We all know that majority rules, so be a leader. Be the one brave enough to say, hey, this is wrong. Remember, when you're courageous enough to do what's right, you join the ranks of some of the greatest men and women in history. With something to think about, this is Elaine. Make it a great day, because choices matter, and the choice is yours. Hey, Cody, that was pretty wise, right? Really was. Next up is ASB. Hello, Meadowbrook. My name is Megna. We are holding a Toys for Tots donation drive here on campus. You can donate in the front office, the library, or in room 508. Donate new and unwrapped toys. Toys for Tots is a program held by the Marine Corps to distribute toys to children whose parents cannot afford to buy Christmas gifts. So make someone's Christmas today and donate. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Santa Claus? I heard you might be him. If you are him, here's my list. Help the Marines make Christmas possible for less fortunate children. Donate a new toy to Toys for Tots. Yes, Santa Claus. Okay. Now it's time to relax with the Mustang meetup. Sir, we don't have any time to relax, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry. We are now entering Mr. Cafe's room. First, you have us learning about friction on different surfaces. Then, we have a speed triangle, which consists of speed, distance, and time. Next, we have gravity and air resistance. Good morning, Meadowbrook. It's Ryan. And Mr. Campley. With the Mustang Meetup. So, Mr. Campley, what do you enjoy about teaching? One thing I really enjoy about teaching is um, getting to do all sorts of fun activities and labs and getting kids up and moving around and doing fun things with science. What college did you attend and what degree did you receive? I went to school at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, and I got my degree in oceanography. Um, then I went to San Diego State and got my teaching credential. If you could do any other job but teaching, what would it be? If I could do anything other than teaching, I think I'd be a scuba diving instructor. Because I really love um, scuba diving, I love being in the ocean, being outside, so that would be a dream job. Bye, Bye Meadowbrook! Hey Cody, what was the best part of your week? Let's see, uh... Okay, anyways, let's go see what other people have to say. This is Kaden with the best of the week. The best part of my week is when I said good luck to my friends because he was going to have surgery. The part of my week was when my uncle came back. The best part of my week is just being back to the needle The best part of my week was being to see my friends. The best part of our week was getting donations from Palmer Auto. I was in eighth grade when I learned to program. I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. You just learn these lessons and there aren't that many of them and you, you just eventually can get to the point where you can do almost anything that you want. Computer science is just learning how a computer works and how it thinks so that you can teach it to do new things. These days what you can do uh, in computer science is pretty much amazing. I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. This is a reminder for teachers and students that the mindful moment will be following the Pledge of Allegiance.